Well, Avery, it's been a great week because for the third day in a row, we have local sports on our news hour. Very, very nice to see after about, you know, a year and a half with not too much local sports going on. But hey, local sports, they're back, they're exciting, and they are getting right into the swing of things with the Cam River Fighting Walleye. Made their debut in the SIJHL last season as the league's newest expansion team, but they didn't get much of a debut, did they? Due to COVID-19, the Walleye were limited to just a handful of games in 2020 before the season was cancelled. But this year, things are on the up and up. And the Walleye are ready to make a statement in their second go of an inaugural season at Norwest Arena. The Walleye will open the regular season next Saturday at home with their rivals from down the highway in Thunder Bay with the North Stars heading west. It'll be the first time the two squads have met since 2020 with the Walleye taking the last contest between the two with a 6-5 overtime win. Cam River President Derek Geddes is looking forward to his team finally getting into game action and for the fans who have waited so long to be able to rally around their walleye. You know, we're excited to, to give them a show right from the beginning and, and show them we're for real. You know, we are the, uh, the newest team in the league and uh, we definitely have a lot of respect for the teams that have been in this league for a long time. But we're here, uh, we're here to show we belong and, and right from the puck drop next uh, Next Saturday, we will show that. We gave them a taste last year, but again, we were only allowed to have 50 people in the arena. I think that, uh, you know, we've done a lot uh, in the last year in, in very difficult situations, like trying to bring Hockeyville out to uh, Norwest, you know, building our fish derby, doing some other things. Those looking to check out the walleye can do so at the Teleco Cup at Norwest Arena this weekend, though the tournament will look a little different than originally planned. We'll have a full report on the Teleco Cup changes on tomorrow's news hour.